Hello everyone, welcome back to Rich Solar Talk. On today's episode, we're gonna show you how to set up your Rich Solar 3000 watt hybrid inverters in split phase or parallel operations. These modes have their specific use cases, so we wanna tell you the differences between them and how to properly configure them. For demonstration purposes, we're using the Rich Solar Alpha 5 Server Rack Battery. Use split phase if you're setting up a system for 240 volt devices, such as a water heater, air conditioner, or an oven. Parallel operation, on the other hand, is only used for 120 volt devices, such as a refrigerator, microwave, or a laptop charger. We have our essential battery cables, the serial communication cable, which in the manual it does say you need two, but it is safe to only go with one, as well as, for parallel, these two cables. That one, however, you do need two. Here we have the 3000 watt inverter. For the sake of this demonstration, we've already removed the screws so that we can get into it a lot faster. And here we have the internal components. The AC input and output, the PV terminals for your solar panels, and the battery terminals here. For this demonstration, we will only be hooking up the battery. Let's start by connecting the inverters to the battery. You'll need a socket wrench with a size 10 socket to fasten the cables from the battery to the inverter. All right. And don't forget, positive to positive, negative to negative. Now that we have all that hooked up, we'll now turn on the battery and turn on the inverters. For the Alpha 5, what you wanna do is get a toothpick and hold down the reset or rest button until those lights cycle. And then once that is done, you flip this breaker on. Now we'll turn on both of the inverters. When you hear that beep and a couple clicks, that means that it's working properly. First, we're going to demonstrate how to set it up in split phase. What you're going to want to do is hold down the enter key until it makes that beep and then cycle through the settings until you get to setting number 22. Once you get to 22, you're going to want to flick off the switch, press down one more time until you get to setting 23, hit enter. And for the first inverter, you're going to want to cycle till you see an option that says 2P0. Hit enter again, press the escape button, and wait for the unit to shut down. This can take roughly a minute or two for it to do automatically. And for the second inverter, we're going to do the same thing. Cycle to setting 22, and then flip the switch on the inverter to off and press down one more time to get to setting 23. Hit enter and cycle till you see the option 2P2. Then hit enter again, hit the escape key and wait for this inverter to shut off. For the sake of time and this demonstration, I'm going to be switching off the power from the battery. After that, you're gonna to wanna to connect both inverters with the serial communication cable. Like I said, in the in the manual, it says you need two, but you can get away with just one cable if you only want to use one. After the cable is plugged in and secured, you're gonna to wanna to switch on both your inverters at the same time. And now it will read HS for host system and 2P for second phase. Now that we've covered split phase, let's move on to parallel. For that, you'll need two of these cables and a small flathead screwdriver. So first, what we're gonna wanna do is go back into the settings just like we did for split phase, where you hold the enter button, cycle down till you get to setting number 22, 
and then switch off the inverter. Press down one more time to get to setting 23. Press enter and cycle until you see PAL. Once you see that, hit enter, hit escape, and then wait for the inverter to turn off. You're going to want to do the exact same actions for the other inverter as well. Switch that off, hit enter, set it to PAL, press enter again, escape, and wait for the units to power off. Now we're going to connect this cable to the parallel connection here. And you're going to want to secure it with the small flathead screwdriver. Then you're going to want to take the other end of that cable and plug it into the same port on the other inverter. After that, you're going to want to grab your second cable and do the same thing. And remember, for parallel, you have to have both of these red and black cables, but you can still get away with just one of the serial connector cables. Now with all those connected, you turn on your inverters. And you should see on the screen HS for host system and SL for secondary system. And that's how you set up your 3000 hybrid inverters in split phase or parallel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us or visit our website for more information. Have a solar day.